<laughs> Dude, this is the biggest turtle I've ever seen. Hello. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Uh, Jeremy Colling. Yeah. Oh! Shit, get up, Jeremy. Oh. <laughs> Bro, that dropped. Oh. Good morning, America, and the 4% of my viewers who are across the pond out there in Europe. Today's gonna be an actual, like, traditional vlog, and I'm just gonna take you day to day life on what I actually do. I got here at 7, but I started the vlog just a little bit late. My dad owns the place, but. I keep this thing running. This is where I work for 40 hours a week. The main thing I do, everything. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, we make door latches here for like older model Fords and Chevys, all the way from like 30, mid 30s to late 70s. For example, this is a door latch for a 5559. Your boy built it. Oh my gosh, okay, hey, if anybody actually needs a latch from here, please let me know. I've been trying to tell my dad, hey, give me a promo code, because somebody who watches this video might actually need something for their old Fords or trucks. And he's like, no, they won't. So if somebody actually needs something, please let me know. As of right now, I'm packaging up the kits, getting them ready to go. And then I get to count inventory for the rest of the day. This is me counting for the next couple hours. Boring. All right, I've escaped prison. Speaking of prison, I might be going back soon. I got a ticket a couple months ago and I haven't paid it off yet. And I think I've got like five days before I got to go to court and I'm not going to court. I had to run by the post office, go grab a money order. And here we are playing some disc golf in my happy place. So before I mention the giveaway with this, the giveaway in my last video, which is the Paul Macbeth Undertaker, the winner is Flex Forehand. I really hope you're a subscriber. If not, I will find out. Email me or comment down below and I'll reach out to you. But now for the new one, we've got like four days left of this whole giveaway in May thing. So the Addicts Reborn. It's a disc by Wild Discs 5501. Pretty flat, nice grippy plastic. Wild Discs had sent me a box of plastic that I did 18 holes with. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And this is my favorite disc in it. So nine holes out here at the middle school. Gonna start on hole nine. Dude, what kind of spider is that? Anyways, gonna start on hole nine, finish on hole eight because it's very aceable and I wanna end on an ace. Straight shot, 270 feet. Start off with a banger. Oh, nestle up under that basket, baby. Oh my gosh, never mind. I'm long. Oh, yeah, what a freaking bid, dude. Every time I jump putt, this is my arm. It stops like right there, and I'm always like, why is this so low? So as far as how to win this, I'm wanting to come up with a website where I have merch and discs. That will be happening soon. Comment down below what a cool website name would be. And whichever comment gets the most likes, that's who I'll give this to. I have an idea for one, but I want to see what you guys think. Hole one, 220 feet. I wanted to say do it, but some guy in the comment section was like, stop saying do it. Look at that, another 45 footer. If I don't hit metal, I'm ending the video right here. I don't even care if it's two minutes long. I swear, my circle twos were nasty for like 35 minutes. And now they're just MIA. This is my favorite hole to throw, like a Mako-like disc on, just a nice slow turnover the whole way. Which, not much, it's just more straight. That disc flies like a Mako 3 that has some stability, if that makes sense. I guess what I'm trying to say is like a fresh Mako 3, the flight is amazing. And then once it gets beat in, it becomes a little flippy. Still a great disc, love the Mako 3. This Maddox is a little bit more stable though, so when it beats in, I feel like it'll beat into like what a fresh Mako 3 would fly like. That's just my opinion though, who knows. All right, get on the board, Nate. Thank you. We're on the board. Quick little jump over the tripod, but we are back in business. Guys, we got a lot of big things coming onto the channel as far as ideas that I have. I would tell y'all, but we can just wait and see. Make sure you subscribe, tag along, follow me on this crazy journey. Hole three, 280 feet, we run in this thing. Oh, Nate, you can't be asking people to subscribe and throw a dookie little shot like that. Like, hey guys, make sure you subscribe. And then I proceed to throw it half a mile away from the basket. Alrighty, hole four, par three, 320 feet hiding in those clumps of trees. It's a nice stock hyzer, hopefully not in circle two. If we threw that as wide as possible, thankfully it's gliding right into circle two. Vegas odds that I make this, like minus 12,000. I have faith. Thank you. Don't ever count your boy out. Hole five, par three, 256 feet. Baskets love to be hiding behind trees out here. The Mako three, I can't forehand. I can forehand it, but like three out of four of them are not gonna be good. This has enough stability though where I actually think it can handle a forehand. Mm. 
wow. I mean, that came out clean. I thought it would actually have some more finish, but uh, we're just gonna work on circle twos today. We're going back to back. Quick wind read, right to left. The best wind to putt in. <laughs> oh, and it went OB. I might have a smile on my face, but uh, I am not happy. I was really hoping this pole was gonna be on my side. It wasn't. What can you do? Hole six, par three, 340 feet, straight shot through the gap. It's exactly what this just can do. Slide up there, baby. I'm not in circle two. I'm not a mean person, but anytime I see a squirrel in the fairway, my first instinct is like, I bet you can hit it. I'm not going to though, but I bet I could hit it. Aiming for the basket instead, hole seven, 235 feet on an elevated basket. Not gonna say it, not gonna say it. Sit! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be coming out with a circle two tutorial next week, so you guys be sure to tune in. At least it was pin high. As I hit metal and my regular putt, squirrel! I was literally talking about hitting you with the disc. Come here. Hey. Dude, I got an acorn! All right, finally the moment we've all been waiting for. Hole eight, 230 feet, staring right back at me, begging to be aced. I can see it now. 